what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be bringing you guys a, a kind of a drive along video with me <laughs> going to be explaining uh the route i'm going with this channel still kind of going with everything with the kayak fishing and tournaments here and there and um, mainly all my adventures going out onto the water but i'm going to be bringing um my power washing business onto this channel. I was doing some thinking last night, but mainly for like the last couple of years, um, hesitant on wanting to start a new channel for my business. Um, and I think I'm finally going to do it, but I'm going to keep it all on this channel so I can keep it all compact into one. Which makes sense to me now because it's like, you know, why would I want to start another whole new channel when I don't get a chance to even post as much as I want to on this channel currently? Um, just because I'm just constantly busy. So, um, yeah, that's the, that's the route I'm going to go with. I'm going to plan to start doing some vlogs with that going out to my jobs and uh, washing houses and concrete and doing roof cleanings and uh, kind of show you that uh, satisfying um, before and afters um, and you know day life day in a life of power washing you know working with me and kind of showing um, how my day by day goes um, so be a lot of time lapse and um, some educational things so from what I know you know I've been doing this for three years now um, I know a little bit uh, uh, probably a good amount of stuff but I know I'm still learning every single day and um, keeping up on um, the things I, I need to and been going to um, YouTube for all my stuff for the last three years um, learn how to do that and I just finally went and took a new took a class down in uh, uh, Alabama and uh, Roanoke Alabama at Southeast Southwashed and phenomenal class uh, the training was just great um, I really want to go back there uh, and take another one do a refresher um, every other year or do some take a class every year it's nice to nice to get that training and um, understand what's new and improved and things like that in the industry and so yeah um, it was nice to go take a class and get a better understanding for some of the questions I had and needed answers to and so um, but yeah love to share my experience out in the uh, out in the field and make that happen on these uh these videos and kind of turn this channel to kind of an all-around thing you know fishing and um soft washing which is what i'm getting into so i don't know if i'll get far into it with this vi this video but maybe that might be another video um but um i plan on keeping it more consistent and filling in a lot more um a lot more videos on this channel with having a different content on here and um yeah so i think it's gonna be nice uh it's gonna be even better because i don't have to make another channel um, but i see tons of channels out there that have tons of like they'll be doing their main channel is about um something and then they have a whole nother thing that they do as a hobby or what you know so uh, i don't think there's a problem with that so i'm gonna give it a shot and take it from there and just you know go with it um and uh see where it comes see where it goes so um but uh I'm here uh dropping blakely off right now at the salon because i gotta go to work but I'll be right back all right i'm back uh where was i going with this so yeah um i'm ready to head out right now 
to work. But yeah, that's the route I want to go with this channel. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Got the GoPro. No, actually GoPros, I got two. Um, and then I got the nice camera, vlogging camera with a nice mic. Um, and then always good to have my phone. This camera and the mic on this phone is still pretty damn good. So I'll, I have all the equipment to do everything. Um, and you know my vision for how I want to make this channel um, so but yeah um, I guess I'll kind of talk about the uh, whole soft washing thing um, the reason why I made the switch over from power washing the last three years um, to soft washing is just the main reason is just because of the customer base kind of just steers away from power washing sometimes you know they kind of question themselves question me about you know is it going to ruin the siding you know because I do mainly 95 percent is vinyl siding when I do house washes so um, they kind of get worried about that and you know I find it more appealing to me um, being able to let the chemicals do the job and not the pressure so um, I think it's pretty amazing to um, see that all happen, you know, for your eyes, you know, it's like you lay the chemicals down and within 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the temperature, if the sun's out, you know, how bad the, um, the siding is, how much algae or mold or whatever is on it. Um, it's pretty crazy how fast so soft washing can clean things up so that's one of the main things second um, I don't have to use gas I don't have to use gasoline I use a 12 volt pump um, with a battery and that's it just got to keep it charged at night <laughs> that's pretty awesome um, to me so just keep an extension cord and plugging my stuff in at night and going from there yeah it's uh it's not loud um yeah i'm gonna have a power washer with me but it'll mainly be just for concrete so if you're interested in concrete cleaning that's mainly what you're going to be having to have is a power washer to have a surface cleaner along with it to clean the concrete um, so then obviously you'll need the gas to start the power washer up but other than that um, my main focus is the house washes the roof cleaning um, the gutter cleaning and the concrete cleaning that's what I do so put this up a little bit um, forgot where I was going with this video but uh um, yeah, so I kind of like revamped my whole business. It was once called the last three years. Uh, it's been called Chad's Pressure Washing. Um, and then uh, now I'm kind of revamping things up. And now my business name is called H2O Exterior Wash. Um, no real weird reason why I, I changed the name. I just kind of wanted to revamp things up and freshen everything up. Um, and do it the right way and uh, like I said you know I went down to Alabama took that class plan on taking another one next year um, and uh, you know just perfecting my craft so other than that yeah I'm pretty pretty stoked for uh, the videos and everything to come for next year 2022 with uh, power washing so um, another new thing uh, as you can tell you I already said some of my services that I do um, I'll be adding roof washing to my services next year um, took some training down south like I said and it was very minimum of what they kind of talked about um, but um, kind of got a good good basis of why what I need to do and how I need to take care of myself on what to look for and things like that so um, I got a good, uh, good um, 
idea of how I'm going to be doing it because I work by myself. So, um, other than that, that's about it. So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I'm going to post some videos here soon. Um, new equipment that I'm getting in. I'm not going to really um, say yet what I'm getting. It's already ordered. Um, it's going to be coming soon, I would say. And I'll keep you posted about that. Um, brand new equipment. Um, professional equipment. Uh, it ain't mid-grade, I'll tell you that. It's professional equipment. Um, and super excited to use it kind of played around with it um, a little bit uh, down south in my training and uh, super super excited um, the only downfall is uh, I live in Michigan so I won't be able to actually use it until spring hits so that's what it comes down to for with that but um, I'll keep you guys posted on when the new equipment comes in and make a video on that other than that Stay tuned for some more content coming in with everything with power washing and kayak fishing. And uh, um, I have a lot of ideas. It's just the time to do it. So um, thanks for joining in and uh, please subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.